Weltmeister von 2008. Ein Mann, der mal in den Top 10 bei der PDC stand. Der ist aktuell die Nummer 23 der Welt und er kommt aus Wales. Die Rede ist von The Spider, Mark Webster. Mark Webster tritt an gegen den World Masters Champion von 2004. Er stand im Premier League Finale, er stand im World Grand Prix Finale. Er hat auch unter anderem einen Titel auf der European Tour geholt. Ladies and Gentlemen, the King, Mervyn King! Well, you may not see a better performance than that from Steve West this entire weekend at the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. I certainly cannot remember a better display on the opening day of one of these European Tour events. An average of nearly 110 for Steve West, who is back in the running, or back in the provisional spots for the European Championship in Hasselt at the end of the month. Right now on stage, though, two big names in world darts. A former world champion in Mark Webster, a former major champion in the BDO, a multiple major champion in the BDO in Mervyn King, and a former winner on the European Tour, of course, in The King. He will be in Hasselt in Belgium at the end of the month of the European Championship. Mark Webster, however, He's got a lot of work to do. He's probably going to have to make the final here this weekend if he's going to be there. And that is something that Webby has not managed to do before. However, we know he has got quality. Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one, along with another man who has quality. I just don't know what that quality is. It's Rob Malarkey. Thank you very much indeed, Dan. Yeah, Webster with not too much prize money on the European Tour this year in the European Order of Merit. This is only his third European Tour appearance of the year. Made the second round in Venray right at the start of the year and also qualified for the European match play as well, but was eliminated in the first round. So as you say, he's got a lot to do to uh, qualify for the European Championship and it will take a run to the final. Stranger things have happened. Both these players 100 to 1 in the outright betting at this moment in time. But it's King who's the favourite here, just about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is marked to through first. Game on. And it is the former Lakeside World Champion, Mark Webster, who has the advantage of throwing first in this one. Forty-one. King was the number one seed in qualifying for this. Came through fairly comfortably. 6-1 against 16. Mick Todd, but then went the distance with William O'Connor. But, um, as Dan said, assured of his place in Hasselt. Thanks in large to a run to the semis in Venray. Mm, yeah. That really was the platform for his uh, qualifying campaign. Hasn't quite hit those same heights in the meantime since then in Europe. Well, really, in general, Mervyn King. He had a very good 40. run at the match, play, so he played some really good darts. He was only beaten by a, a really determined performance in the quarterfinals from the, well, 15-time match play champion, <laughs> Phil Taylor. 16, yeah, 16, 14, that in the end as well, so close. It was very close. There was one, one check out of 124, I think, from Phil Taylor to break Mervyn right towards the end of that match, and that, that was the key moment. It was superb from the power, but he was great all week. Mm. But that's not bad for Merv. Not bad at all. Yeah, that was his, uh, or it was King's biggest payday of the year, reaching the last eight in Blackpool. 17 and a half grand for his efforts there. 123. Webster had a terrific second half of last year as well. When you look at his uh, achievements too. 60, might you require 100. Treble 20 for tops for the first leg. That's bang in the middle of the treble 20. Can he use that? Flight's look inviting. 
80. Uh, just Moving you require 161. A little bit low, but this is a big ask. Very big ask. He may have the answer. Smaller ask now. Mm. 80. So Mark you require 20. Returning on double 10 for a holder throw in the first leg. In shot of the first leg. Negotiated. Same leg is moving to third first. left handers love a double 10. Love it. Yeah, made the semi-finals at the World Grand Prix last year, did uh, Mark Webster. Followed that up with a run to the last eight in the Grand Slam and a run to the last 100. 16 at Ali Pali as well. So he raked in a few quid towards the end of the year. Yeah, big, big time of the year that for Mark Webster. He'd obviously had all these technical problems with his throwers. We all know it's dart Did a lot of work rebuilding his throw, weighting his back foot down. He has that sort of lean forward when he throws the dart and we have seen it affect 96. his game a couple of times notably this year once at the match play when he went toe to toe with adrian lewis for the first 12 legs and then lost the last four lost it 10-6 in the end as his throw kind of broke down but we saw in dublin in an absolutely 100. baffling game in the players championship event before the grand prix played johnny clayton and he was playing really really well and then the throw started to break down he got so angry, he just threw a dart in it into like the skinny bit of the 11. And you thought, well, his head's gone here, he can't win it. But then the very next visit, he threw a 180, managed to win the leg, and the next one won it 6-4, and that was it. Shake of hands, thank you very much. <laughs> it was just absolutely 57. bizarre. Just needed to get something out of his system. Oh, and it, it worked. It did work. Became a dad last year as well, did the Webster. That's another upheaval that he's had to deal with, let alone all the other darting factors that you refer to then bringing the Rob Malarkey private life school of advice <laughs> to this particular <laughs> no, no? I, I can't comment on that <laughs> now then maximum maximum leads in the 12 for potential break of 12 unless Mervyn King can rescue the situation here with 107 82 remaining while well, he went for the treble 14 to lead tops but 59 Mike Dakar 24 didn't quite work out for King that. Game shot of the there second Webster, leg. Okay, Mark Webster. Break of throw. Third leg is smart to throw first. Game on. And the marginal outsider leads. And he has a break. Interesting choice of shot there for Mervyn. He's gone the 25. It's 75 in that position to leave double 16, which is his favourite double. So that's a bull and a 25. 97. Now, had he hit the bull, I assume that he'd have gone 17 tops. But he might have stayed on the 25. He hit the 25, but instead of going for the ball, because you've got the guy for that dart, he's, he's gone trouble 14. Yeah, when the tops. It's, I mean, it's, an, it's just an interesting way of going. I've not seen him do that before. Oh, hang about. Seen Webster do this before. 180! We had eight 180s in the previous game. It only lasted six legs. We've had <laughs> two already with two and a half legs into this. What a start to the evening we've had at the Happy Bet German Dart yeah. Championship. Plenty to uh, talk about already so far. Winner of this face is Michael Smith, by the way. The number six seed, I believe, this mm -hmm. weekend. Yep, and uh, he's here. He's uh, behind the scenes. 60. He's helping Eddie Dutton celebrate his victory. A fellow St. Helens man. Mm. After he saw off Mike Holtz. Mervyn. Fills it up for his own. Well, that's four one eighty. Right, about second one for Webster's hit two. Can he take out the one six four? No, he can't. Ninety eight. Moving to require one hundred and twenty one. Treble seventeen for Bullseye. Doesn't get the treble. Ninety seven. So Might Webster for a three 66. nil lead. Is it 14 he's looking at? It is. He gets the treble, so double 12. Yeah. Lovely the stuff. Third and leg. you see the Mark celebration Webster. from Webster. Fourth leg is moving to throw first. Webster's finishing has been very, very effective so far today. Game on. And all of a sudden, Mervyn has lots to do here. 59. Webster with a very healthy average, not quite challenging Steve West just yet, but nudging 105. Oh, it's going up. Oh. Well, well, well. 
180s in the last three legs for Mark Webster. Mervyn's hit a couple himself. He's raining Wonder. maximums in Hilda's high. Ooze in the hall here. What crowd we've got Friday night. I was going to say it. It's, I, I believe it's somewhere around the 1300 plus mark that we've got. The capacity is just shy of 2000. And they've opened up the seats around the top as yeah. well tonight as well. I'm pretty sure they didn't do that last 96. year on a Friday. Different time of year, but um, nevertheless, for a Friday evening session, for a Friday afternoon session, it was pretty buoyant as well. well the players are serving up something special for him so far. Steve West has put in a mind boggling performance, and Mark Webster's, well, I mean, He's averaging similar at the minute. It's around about the 110 mark. 100. And King doesn't Mark's have much of an answer. 98. Treble 18 would leave double 12. And he has been lethal on double 12. He's not going to get a go at it this time. 58. So he'll come back Mervyn and have a look at double top unless Mervyn takes out an absolute monster. Which he might well do. Nah. 86, might you require 14. Yeah, 18 would have left him his favourite, or one of his favourites, but tops it is for Webster. Double 10 instead. Game shot on the fourth leg. And Mervyn King Mark does Webster. not know what's hit him at Fifth the moment. leg is marked it through first. Game on. Right, it's another sub-15 dart leg from Mark Webster, and this is very, very impressive stuff from the Welshman. I mean, admittedly, King's been in the frame or in the hunt when Webster has finished off, but 119. let's not take anything away from Webster so far. This is a really accomplished looking performance there. We see the averages, it's gone above 105. Maybe we'll be challenging Steve West, who knows? 100. He keeps on checking out the way he is. That will not drag him down. 16, 13, 14, 14. Now, of course, those two legs, the brakes are thrown in the second and the fourth leg. King has had 15 darts in those ones and these guys they look at that 100 average as a a solid display 100 and Mervyn will consider those missed opportunities but he's not even had a dart at a double Mervyn King this is Mervyn King a man who's won Euro Tours this is a man who very nearly won the Masters a couple of years ago 125 well Webster down to a finish on his throw, but King challenging here. 125, Mark your car, 157. That could well make a big, big difference. And it means Webster gets two visits from 157. He's going to need them. But one treble will give him two darts for a 5 0 lead when he 16. returns. Now he hasn't got that, but he could still get two darts if he hits the treble 19 upon his return. Mervyn King has just got to, well, ideally hit a ton 40 or 134 will do. Last dart. Mark you require 97. Fifty-seven. Mervin, you require ninety-six. This may have to go, Merv. Awkward. Well, he went double double and he 56. didn't really give it a chance. Mark it was a bit tentative from Mervyn King. Not really worrying that double 18 bed. Double top for Mark Webster for 5 0. And this Mark is Webster. very, very Six impressive. Is first. Game on. If you'd said to me at the start, I mean, this might not be 6 0, but if you'd said to me at the start of the evening, we'd have two 6 0 score lines in this evening. 135. Session, I would not these two matches. Maybe the West one actually, but. Well. You would have been wrong, Very potentially. Wrong. Very, but this is just, I just did not see this coming at all. Mark Webster has only beaten Mervyn King twice before. Yeah. And they've not met for the last three years. They've so not met for a long time. Yeah. So they have had some big meetings, you know, the World Darts Trophy, but that was 2007, well, nearly a decade ago. A couple of times in the same Grand Slam tournament in 2008. Mervyn won all of those. But I don't think he's going to win this one. 140. As Webby is rampant. He is. He's playing really, really well. He's better. 140. I mean, Mervyn is still averaging in the mid 90s. Well. Oh, <laughs> hammer.
firing the sevens, Mark Webster. 49, <laughs> moving to require 86. Well, he might be happy to let this leg go. May not have a choice. Double 16. Well, a long way across. Game showing a six leg. Mervyn King. Well, seven leg is mine to, to give Mervyn King a on. double. And they're at double 16. <laughs> Just a kiss to the crowd from Mervyn King there, an ironic celebration. Yes. He has finally had some darts at a double, and it is his favourite, and he doesn't 45. miss double 16 very often. Well, Webster, that's two back to back below par visits with the sevens and then a 45 to open things up here and maybe if Mervyn can just click into gear and just give Webster something to think about maybe just maybe something special might happen but it is still a long long way back here for Merv 100 playing like this it's, again we made the point earlier about somebody else but Webster in this mood and in this frame of mind 59. Wonder why he's not qualified for more events this year in the European Tour yeah look it, it is tough it is tough and he's yeah, he, he has had success this year Mark Webster I mean he's 100. two semi-finals four quarter-finals including one at a major tournament yeah. at the UK Open he has won games and gone on runs it's just that you know when it's come to those European champion uh, European Tour qualifiers he's not been able to get through many of them and, and they are tough yeah. just the 60 and Webby's average is just dipped below the 100 mark now and it's not panic stations time just yet at all I mean he's he couldn't easily win this leg and close out six one win and that will certainly help it certainly will yep yeah. it's just gifted Webster the initiative once again in this leg he could just do with finding a couple of troubles though because by and large he's just lost his way here over the last what leg and a bit 16 he's getting frustrated now you know this is a man who was you know what three minutes ago was averaging 105 and now he's just getting a little bit frustrated 97 Mark your is 36. down to a two data potentially Webster is not going to take out the 136 Single 19 now. 96. Yep. Leaves himself tops Mervin for the match. Unless, unless Mervin can take out the 100 to stay alive in the German Darts Championship. Tops he wants. Double 10. Gets Game it. Mervin King gets play. a break of throw. It's 5 2. King. This Ed isn't Blake quite is over yet. First. Come on. taking a big step to the right hand side there but 16 to no great avail that's more like it Mark room for one more <laughs> 50th 180 of the tournaments right back at you One out of not 14. quite Mark Webb's, I mean that is that 180 is his fourth but if anything it was the most remarkable because it seemed that his technical issue was more pronounced than at any point in the 100. game there. he was holding on to the dart a little bit longer than he had been doing earlier on when he's playing very fluent stuff but it's it's just like that game against Johnny Clayton in Dublin whereby even 100. though he has this issue which he sometimes struggles against he is still able to throw phenomenal darts And there's more here, maybe. Right, down to 141 minus 105. That. Yeah, getting below that 121 mark. So he'll probably come back and look at 419s for a dart at double top to close out a 6 2 win. But Mervyn is going to be there on a two darter himself. Can Webby close it out? Oh. He might well do, you know. Single for double top for 6 2. It's there, game. and Mark Shot Webster has been quite Mervyn. superb through the majority of this game. Mervyn King, former Euro Tour winner, knocked out by a comprehensive display of both scoring and finishing from Webster. He hit, well, two-thirds of his darts at double. He will take on Michael Smith, the number six seed in the second round tomorrow. We are two games down, six more to come in the evening session here at the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. And coming up, it's a couple of young guns 
very exciting young players as Ted Everts returns to the Euro Tour action against Chris Doby, a man who has really shown what he's about over the last few months. Das war also das Happy Bet Match of the Day. So, ein letztes Schlückchen aus dem Wasserglas. Mark, congratulations. That was, that was good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I haven't been here for ages. I haven't used my passport for about six months. I, I haven't qualified, so it's great to play in front of a German crowd again. Um, I felt relaxed. Um, the draw was good because I knew I had to play the best because Merv's a solid player. He's been around for God knows how long. He, he makes every big event and goes deep in most of them. So I knew what I had to do. So I was happy with that. I, I enjoyed it. really enjoyed it. After after five legs, your average was 105, so it's really high. Normally, you, your average is not that high, but you, but you're very consistent and you're there when you when you need to, you know. Yeah, yeah, like Robbie Green said earlier, averages mean nothing. You want to win. You want to progress in competitions. If I had won with an, an 80 average, I'd be happy now. But I'm just pleased. I, like I said, I haven't got to play in front of a German crowd for ages. It's a travesty. They're a great crowd. I haven't spoke to you for ages, so that's just it, it's good. I've enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow now. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Mark Webster, der hat gerade zweimal gesagt,